Microbe murderers are everywhere, in our prescriptions, our food, even the earth. As our once diverse microbiomes continue to go under attack, scientists are considering stranger-than-fiction new ways to repopulate our barren guts, and their search is taking them right to your toilet. This is Microcosmic, a look at the universe inside our bodies. 17 centuries ago, Chinese doctor Gi Hong prescribed his patented yellow soup, a broth made from fermented stool. Yum to patients suffering from digestive dismay. 1,600 years later, in 1958, Dr. Ben Eisman, on a hunch that antibiotics may be disrupting his patients' guts, transferred into them stool from healthy pregnant women. Around that time, another doc named Stanley Falco began dosing patients pills filled with their own poop in an attempt to reculture their colons after surgeries. From these early, rather rogue experiments, today's fecal transplants, known officially as fecal microbiota treatments, or FMT, were born. Today, fecal transplant buzz has reached a fever pitch. But why would anyone think that someone else's poop could help their health? It's simple. In a healthy gut live billions of good bacteria. These cultures are passed with feces, which in FMT act as vehicles to take good bacteria to less healthy, less diverse guts. Some scientists believe our evolving diets and antibiotics everywhere world have knocked our gut biomes critically out of whack, allowing otherwise harmless gut microbes to grow more vigorously than others. These super blooms, they theorize, are scaring our immune systems into attack responses, instigating autoimmune and inflammatory disease. Bacteria-rich FMT is thought to help even things out. Some doctors are even calling FMT a miracle, particularly for patients suffering from C. difficile infections. This chronic diarrheal illness occurs most frequently following antibiotic therapy, when gut bacteria is wiped out and inflammatory C. diff bacteria can storm. The infection can be treated with additional antibiotics, but if they fail, a fecal transplant helps to restore diversity to the colon. Overwhelming C. diff bad guys with a stunning 80 to 90 percent success rate. Even with the procedure's great potential, FMT is still very limited in America, approved only for C. diff. As a result, many people are taking to internet forums, YouTube, and good old turkey basters to carry out their own fecal transplants. It's a trend making scientists and doctors worried. As with any transplant, those of the fecal variety have their risks. In some cases, donors have unwillingly passed on illnesses, infections, even phenotypes like obesity. To help stem the rise of dangerous DIY transplants and expand access, certified stool banks are now opening for business, some of which pay their donors up to $40 a pop for their poop. Feeling inspired? Disgusted? Ready to donate? No matter your take, one thing's for sure. Exploration into poop's potential is showing no signs of slowing. So next time you number two, do it with pride. You may have just created medicine's next number one breakthrough. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.